G'day there, I'm JK, Jason Kerrison, and you're watching the AU Review. Jason, uh, welcome to uh, Singapore Music Matters. I um, believe this is your first time in Singapore, is that right? Yeah. First time, well, first time I've been at Music Matters in Singapore. Uh, but I've actually been, this is the third time I'm in Singapore this year, I think, actually, for various reasons. So, um, uh, I'm getting used to the humidity. <laughs> it's all fine. My, my guitar even sweats. I'm used to my guitar sweating. It's, it's pretty weird, but it's cool. You're almost a local now, really. Yeah, I don't know about that. don't know about that. But it's always, I mean, people here are really cool. They're yeah. really, you know, and uh, what I love about the place is just, um, it's a real, like an actual melting pot of so many different cultures. So I really enjoy being here. And, um, how's the showcases been this week for you at Music Matters? Yeah, fantastic. So my own showcases, I got to play at the uh, Fountain Stage last night and um, played to a whole bunch of uh, J-pop fans. Uh, <laughs> so I don't think they knew what to expect. And I was playing with a mate of mine. Uh, Seth Hapu from New Zealand as well so we got to share the stage for a while and um, he's such an amazing player and uh, he played first and once he finished playing I was like oh man I've got to follow this guy you know <laughs> so but he was he was fantastic and I had a great time as well um, I think one of the uh, important exciting things uh, for an artist to be in a um, festival like this is just to see the quality of other artists and the fact that you get to um, share the stage with them as well uh, it's pretty encouraging so uh, I, I can't wait to get out tonight and see some uh, some more people play. Have you got more showcases this week lined up? Yeah, I've got a showcase tonight at McGettigan's mm -hmm. at about 20 past 12 or something like that. So um, looking forward to that. Yeah, so I had two last night actually and I'd only just got on yesterday morning. So yep. yesterday was a pretty, pretty full on day. Yeah. Good day though. Uh, I guess that your set is a stripped back kind of a set or do you usually play with a band or? Yeah, so I came from um, a, a band background where mm. um, a couple of bands actually so uh, the most recent one being the Babysitter Circus and um, Australians might know a song called uh, Everything's Gonna Be Right so you say everything's gonna be alright uh, or not um, but that's alright and um, I was in a band called Op Shop for man near on a decade maybe even a decade um, prior to that so we um, was a four piece band sometimes a five piece band uh, but over here it's just me jamming out on my own with a, a loop pedal so just trying to get it right so it doesn't um, keep repeating the, the stuff ups every time it loops around. Yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, exciting to be um, playing on my own, but also a bit nerve wracking now and then when you when you don't have your mates with you. I've been mean, uh, hearing a bit of buzz about you from other people who've seen you play, and they always say yeah, your your loops are, are really unique. Is there, is there anything about your your loop style that uh, that you've developed uh, yourself over uh, the years? Uh, uh, no, <laughs> I, I, if anything, I've I've stolen um, I've stolen from heaps of other people. I think who are just fantastic, and and it's and for me actually, I've only been doing it for a couple of years, so um, I'm really getting uh, getting more proficient at it, and it's really about f uh, really at the moment trying to make sure that I I don't compromise the songs that I've um, that I've already got, and I'm trying to make them sound like a. a a full performance without making it sound like a band obviously which is pretty much near impossible um, but looking at I am looking at doing something quite unique with it uh, in the next couple of months or so there's a, a keyboard called an um, APC uh, Key 25 which is like a cross between an Ableton uh, controller and a keyboard so it's about yay big yeah. and I've just had a brace made for it so it can actually be braced onto my guitar so um, that'll be cool like I'm gonna be I'll, I'll be running my loops from uh, Ableton on my guitar and yet able to um, intro a whole bunch of other stuff and kind of turn it into a bit more something a bit more interesting I think for me at least anyway and visually yep. so we'll see where it goes who knows uh, new releases that uh, you've done recently or yeah uh, so I've, I've come out of the um, the major label system where um, you know, the cycle was release an album every two, uh, three years, mm. uh, and because of this, uh, I guess the scale of the majors, that's how you uh, um, was basically uh, you were told you had to work, you had to work. But um, that didn't work for me, so I decided to extract myself out of that and um, go for uh, releasing an EP every six months. And, and I think it's also more about realizing that um, as an artist and um, a producer that. Uh, and uh, income is really going to be about the licensing business more than it is more about the recorded business these days. So I'm just going to um, uh, keep re recording and releasing EP. So I've just done an EP and it's called uh, hashtag JKEP1 and um, people can go and listen to it on um, uh, SoundCloud at Jason Kerrison, I think it is, or JK, one of the two. 
um, or at my um, own website, which is jkmusic.co.nz. So it's got five tracks on it, and it's um, all pretty eclectic, so I'm trying to still work out where I go and, and where I sit in terms of being an artist, but I think I'm starting to get a good feel for the groove. And uh, you have an Australian tour coming up soon. Do you want to yeah, yeah. chat about that? Should I, um, yeah, it's, uh, should I give some dates first? Well, I've got oh, my phone sure. here. Sure, yeah. yeah, go for it, mate. Okay, so I'm playing in, um, uh, I won't go through all the details, actually. Well, I'm playing Sun House in Gold Coast on the 3rd, uh, Tenerife Festival in Brisbane on the 4th, uh, this is in July, the Triffid in Brisbane on the 5th, um, Live and Lounging in Sydney on the 10th, and the Yarra Hotel in uh, Melbourne on the 11th. So it's actually my first um, Australian tour, so I'm really looking forward to getting out there and, and giving it a crack. Uh, and um, I won't have that new piece of equipment going by then, I don't think. Um, that might be a bit ambitious, but yeah, really looking forward to doing it. Well, Jason, uh, we can't wait to uh, see you in Australia for those tours. Uh, and also, you know, listening to to your EP release every six months, that's that's great. It's fantastic. Keeps it, keeps it so fresh. Keep it's it like, fresh and keep it out there. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thanks for having me. And uh, I guess people watching at home and want to find out more info about you, what's your website address? Uh, best place to go and get uh, on my mailing list is jkmusic.co.nz. Everybody go and check it out. Jason Carrison, thank you very much. And uh, we'll see you in Australia very soon.